Hello, viewers. We thank God for another day that God has given us. I welcome you once again to our Global Fellowship with the Church of Nigeria devotional book, Daily Fountain. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for yet another day. So bringing us to the end of this week, we thank you, Lord, and we pray, Lord, that you continue to reveal yourself to us and to guide us to fulfill your purpose for us here on earth. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Uh, today is August 5th. Saturday, August 5, 2017. The topic for our meditation is Have you been sealed? Have you been sealed? Can you answer that question? Have you been sealed? The text, the passage, portion from the Bible that we will read is Revelation chapter 9, 1 to 12. Revelation chapter 9, 1 to 12. And I read, Fifth trumpet, the locust from the bottomless pit. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke, locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth, or any green thing, or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days, men will seek death, but will not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. The shape of the locust was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. They had hair like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails. Their power was not hot, was to hurt men five months. And they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon. But in Greek, he has the name Apollyon. One woe is past. Behold, Still two more woes are coming after these things. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's go to the devotional, the guide we have for the day. The scene now shifts to the abyss the home of demons. A smoke, 
a smoke-filled bottomless pit. When it was unlocked by a falling star, locust arms for battle emerged. Note their description and their appearance in verse 7 to verse 10a. The assignment of this strange and fearful locust was to spare all vegetation, which is usually the food of, for locust, and torment humans who did not bear God's seal on their forehead. The mark of those who were authentic children of God, that is the, the, the seal. This punishment will last for five months, and the pain will be so great that victims will prefer death. But unfortunately, they will not get their wish to die. As we saw in Revelation 7, that is August 1, the test for August 1, the Holy Spirit is God's seal on those who belong to Him. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to acquire that God's seal. 2 Corinthians 6.2 By confessing and repenting, repenting of your sins and asking Jesus to come into your life as your Lord and Savior. That's how to acquire the seal. This step admits you into the family of God and you receive the Holy Spirit, with whom he seals all those who belong to him. 2 Corinthians 1.22 You need this seal. You need this seal. This description is horrible. What would happen? Very terrible. Very fearful. Some of us may have passed through difficult situations in our lives. But this one can be times 100 times 1,000 to the point that some people will want to die. I don't know the, the, when you have gone through um, excruciating pains, problems, and yet we still want to live. So you want to leave. Some will say, okay, it's better instead of this situation, let me die. But it may not be right from the depths of their hearts. But this time, he said that this type of situation, people would want to die. But unfortunately, death would not come to them. So it's a terrible situation. But he has told us that the only solution is having the seal of God on your forehead because there was instruction to the to the to the angels to the servants to the star that the fallen star whom the the the, the, the key of abyss was given we are the all the powers, the demons that have been there are let loose to go and attack men. But their powers are not um, unlimited. They don't have unlimited powers. He said it's only some people, even so the people uh, uh, that you have to attack, you will still, you will not kill them but you will attack them severely. So, no person will want to experience this. And that's why we need this seal, which we are told is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. To prepare. You don't know when it will be. It may be now. It may be at the tail end of the, of the world. I'm happy that it is... Um, the Great Tribulation, it is known as the Great Tribulation, and that will be a very terrible day, terrible period. It will be a period of seven years before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
But the book of interpretation, the book of um, Revelation, generally there are about four approaches to the interpretation of the book of Revelation. The number one is what they call the preterist. That is like a coded explanation of what was happening at the time, the apostolic time, the persecution they were passing through. So you say this thing, especially when you look at verse 1, it tells you, it's revealed to John what is soon to take place. But the soon cannot be as we may just think, but it still has the element of what was going, happening at the time. So for this, some see it as what has already taken place. Then you have the, the historicist interpretation approach. We have people now look at it as the history written in advance, the history of the world in advance. And uh, it has started, events are, all these things are coming up from, uh, in the course of history. They have been recorded already. So many people today look at them, try to look at their uh, global events, the world history, the events that are happening, and try to see, ah, this is the revelation, this is it in this event, trying to fix them. Some may be getting, some may not be getting, but some think that that is what revelation is about, the history in advance, historicist approach. And then you have them, um, some people see it as futuristic approach. They just see that all oh, these things is not about the past, it's not about even the history that is in course, but about just the future. Just uh, some time, about seven years before the coming of the Lord, all these things will just happen, all of them. And there is um, the spiritual view, approach. We see it as a picture drama of uh, spiritual truths that will be occurring not from time to time things that are taking place and manifesting in our pre earthly pilgrimage as christians what happens in the spiritual realms and affecting relating them to what is happening here even the churches you see what are in those churches you see them even now they have spiritual news for us not just what happened in the past and uh, I don't want to align myself to any particular of these things. Also, they have their aspects, the elements of truth in all of them. But the spiritual aspect is very important. Whether they have happened or happening or will happen, but I know that God is speaking all the time. And whatever God has said, it can have interpretation, the fulfillment of prophecies can be in the past and can we still come back to have ultimate fulfillment. And in our lives, when we study the word, we apply it to our lives. So we look at these things and we draw some lessons. And we see that one thing there is that all power belongs to God. The, this is God that gave the key to the fallen star. And then allowed them all the time they were shut up and they came up and they were given specific instructions and they carried had to carry out that instruction so when we are here yes there are demons some they, they are the, the fallen uh, uh, angels and there are other powers that exist it is only god that allow them. Some of them have specific assignments against people. But the sharing news here is that God knows how to draw distinction between his people and others. So you have nothing to fear. There's one thing that Martin Luther said. Luther said that, yes, there is devil, but even the devil is God's devil. So even devil belongs to God. It's God's devil. So devil cannot come and say, just do that with, just without God allowing him to do that. You have no reason to fear. 
All you need is to be in the Lord, to receive the Lord, to have that seal. Just like when the children of Egypt were going out of Israel, we are going out of Egypt. They had the seal, the, 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 what the blood smell. They said, when I see the blood, I will pass away. I will pass over. I will pass over. Could the, you will be passed over. Whatever the devil is doing, whatever the demons are doing in the spiritual realm, whatever we are there, wherever they are around. Sometimes some people talk of um, uh, the, 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 the causes, the ancestral causes or certain in their homes. But you can see that in, in the same homes where they say that people will, don't prosper, people don't excel, people will fall. You see somebody who by the reason of the grace of God, the seal that he bears, the glory of God in him, those powers will come and uh, it will not affect him. And yet it is affecting other people. You will see it with your eyes. But one person or two persons will be excelling. It's not that person's making. What he did is to ensure that seal. And God will be able to say, don't touch this person. Don't touch this person. See the locust. Ordinarily, we want to eat green grass, uh, clear the green. That's why they are feared when the time they were coming out. You say, don't touch anyone. Look at human beings. And then uh, deal with them. Let's say, Leslie, that they will want to die. They want to die. So, no, God is not wicked, but God is just God. So we need not to run away from him. We need to run to him. How far are you with, uh, from God? If you think that God is far from you, it's you that has actually moved. You have moved, not God. God is saying, come. Come. Receive Jesus Christ. Receive that seal. Get yourself prepared. Whether it's happening now, whether in the time to come, but have that seal. Carry the glory of God. When the forces of darkness see you, it, it, it's the, they are the ones that we will fear and, and uh, shiver, not you. Because of the aura of God around you. You need that aura. It's not by making noise. It's by being in the Lord. Do you have that seal? Without that seal, this earthly pilgrimage, you may not be able to pass through because the forces of darkness are set to deal with you. May God help us that we will excel. We will have the seal in our life. We will be close to God. You need this seal. The prayer, Savior, draw me closer to you. Draw me closer to you, Lord. Let's pray. Can you say this prayer? Ask God to draw you closer to himself. Ask God to be, be in you and to mark you with this seal. And henceforth, no one will trouble you because you bear the mark of Christ. Father, we thank you for your word. As many as Lord open their hearts and ask you to come in and draw them closer to yourself. Lord, those who ask will receive. Mark them with this seal. And in the midst of the storms, the turbulence, the tribulations of our time, may we be delivered from the work of the enemy. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more, my brother, my sister, for today. We will want you again tomorrow, the same time. Make it a date. 
Yes, every time, every uh, this um, time, uh, you tune into your ACNN and uh, Strong My TV, uh, free to air. And then, if you are not getting it, try to rescan as directed. And also, you will like the ACNN in um, in um, uh, in their Facebook and. Um, uh, um, different uh, media, uh, um, something that we have, so that uh, you will be able to be following us. We also want to have um, your support as God leads you. Please, you have the numbers on your screen, on your screen, and we will be happy, and we will, God will bless you if you will be able to support this program. Thank you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye.